Hello, Happy New Year. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. It's getting a little chilly. Got my fuzzy pom pom beanie. <laughs> and I just did a manicure at home for $7.99. So what I like to do is pair my nail strips with nail polish um, just to kind of give it a little more natural look. You can do a manicure with all of the 10 nail strips, which I will end up doing in a video to show you how it looks with when you use 10 nail strips. However, I do like to pair mine with nail polish. So for example, in this video, I use the OPI I love this shade. It's just the classic neutral pink. Definitely a classic. They have this now in the gel formulation, which I want to try out. And this is just the traditional formula. And they also have it now in their Infini Shine. So this is what the finished product looks like. With my manicure, I did the OPI on my pinky, index, and thumb, and the nail strips on my middle and ring finger. So I love how this turned out. Great for winter, um, spring also, but I kind of wanted to start my New Year's off in a positive, cheerful mood, and that's why I picked this shimmery nail strips with the pink shade. I got these at Ulta. You can probably get them on Amazon as well, but they're the Dashing Diva nail strips. I pretty much just started to apply them like I would the Color Street nail strips, which you'll see in the video, but they ended up having their own unique application. This is actually day three now that I have this manicure and it looks still like it's on day one. So, so far I do really like these nail strips. Um, they are a great alternative to the Color Street. They worked really well and I'm really impressed with um, how they turned out. So stay tuned if you want to see my tutorial on the Dashing Diva nail strips. I'm going to try out the Dashing Diva gel nail strips. So in my last nail video, I was using the Color Street nail strips, which I'm very familiar with, but these look a little different. Just looking at the back, the way that you apply them looks a little bit different. I don't know if they have a front and a back adhesive, but um, when I open it up, I will find that out. But especially the removal process is not done with nail polish remover like the Color Street strips. These are just lift off. It says they will last 14 days as well, so that's good. I paid $7.99 for these at Ulta. I've seen them range online from $5 all the way up to $22, depending on the prints or the design that are inside but these are their most recent and they're available now and you get 34 strips so what i'm going to do i'm going to use the pink shimmering ones and then pair it with my se this is my favorite se line that they have done it is their winter line and this is the pale blue love at frost site this is so pretty So I'm gonna go ahead and start my manicure. Okay, so I'm going to open up the nail strips now. So at the bottom they have just an easy removal and I'm gonna slide this out and see what it's all about here. So it has the nail strips and then this silver, I'm not sure this is probably important, but I've never seen this before with a nail strip. And then there's instructions and nail file. So that's super important when you're doing nail strips. I'm not gonna be using these today, but um, this strip, but these are the ones I am going to be using. So they only gave me four of the ones that I wanna use. Okay, so it didn't really say what this silver um, sheet was all about, so maybe it's not necessary. So I'm just gonna put this to the side and go ahead and so basically these are very similar to Color Street, except they don't have the top adhesive. So you're supposed to just peel off the size that you want to use and then stick it onto your nail and they said which I usually do is use the strip that's a little bit smaller than your nail 
So for this one, a little bit narrower. So this one I'm gonna use the second to most narrow for my ring finger. I'm planning on doing my ring finger and my middle finger. So just going to peel that off and press it down onto my nail bed. So these don't look as long as the, right off the bat, I can tell these are not as long as the color street strips. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get a two in one out of these. Let me try to pull it up and see what happens. They are very strong. Let me get in there with my nail. Okay, I'm gonna actually go grab my um, nail file to try to make a dent in this strip because it is not just peeling off on its own. Okay, so I have my tweezerman file. I really love this file because it is very sharp on one end, but then the other end is sharp as well, but it's more of a square. So I'll link this down below, but I use this all the time. So I'm gonna go in there and just try to basically cut the nail strip because this is just not coming off, which is probably a good thing as far as the durability once these are on your nail. But as far as using these twice, I don't think I'm gonna be able to use this strip twice. I'm just basically folding down the strip into my nail bed and simultaneously pushing down with the flat edge of this nail file. All right, I'm just gonna really pull on it. Pulling really, really tight, you guys. And if you see my last video, you know how easily the color straight came out. I'm just gonna file. Okay. It's Okay. okay, so the filing does work. It's just, I didn't really get that bend over like I, that I like to do. When you file away, you just have to be careful that you're not serrating the top of your nail um, as far as getting the um, strip all the way out to that very edge piece flush with your nail. This one looks pretty good. So let's move on to the next strip. So I just peel it off and I'm going to now press it down. So I've stuck it on to the back of my nail. Fold the entire material over onto your nail using the white side of the file. File downward firmly in one direction. Okay, so that worked really well. You basically have to um, fold the strip completely over your nail, put it vertically onto the nail bed, and then file in like a 90 degree because you don't want to go over because then you're going to end up um, cutting off the strip. And then if you don't go to that 90 degree, you're not going to get that edge to get the strip off. So you wanna go right at that 90 degree and just file vertically. Put that strip all the way in the, right up against the nail bed on the bottom, and then press down on the center and then onto the edges. And then I'm gonna fold over my nail. So now I have it folded over. And now I'm gonna go with the white side at a 90 degree angle and now do the vertical file. All right, so that was a pretty clean break. Actually, let me try to use this one for my ring finger because the other one is way too thin. Let's see here, let me stick that one. Yeah, so that ends up working. So I did actually get a double strip. So that's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna go ahead now and paint the other nails. Okay, so now let's go in with Essie, Love at Frost Sight. I'm gonna put two coats on my bare nail and see how opaque it gets. I've never used this color before. It's already pretty iridescent actually. Um, a lot more iridescent than the other one. I might need to go in with three coats on this to get the, to be able to match the effect of the nail strips. The uh, red and the white I got in this collection were pretty opaque. I mean, I only needed two coats to get to opaque. Okay, that is this color with um, only one coat. I'm definitely gonna need probably two more coats of this. 
Okay, so plot twist. Um, this is the second coat of the Love at Frost site. I mean, it's pretty, but I feel like it's competing with the nail strips a little too much. So I've done glitter nail strips before with glitter polish, but there was definitely more of a contrast. I think these colors are a little too similar to be doing like both as glitter. I just wasn't feeling that combination. I went and tried one coat of my favorite OPI shade somewhere over the Rainbow Mountains. And I feel like it's looking really pretty with these strips. So I'm gonna finish this off with this OPI shade and see how it turns out. And I also think this color would look really pretty with these nail strips as well. Um, <clears throat> it's like a metallic gray that I got as a um, three pack gift. It's called Gadget Free and this is more of like a going out color, I feel like, like a New Year's eve look, which I feel like would be a really good combination as well. But since I'm going for like a more mellow New Year's Day look, I'm gonna try the rosy pink shade.